Good evening. On this Juneteenth, we will have two reports on the new federal holiday marking the day enslaved people in Texas finally received word they were free in 1865. But we begin first tonight with that tropical storm slamming the southeast. Omar Villafranca is in Biloxi, Mississippi. Omar, good evening. Good evening. Things are starting to get back to normal here on the Mississippi coast, as you can see behind me. Claudette turned into a tropical storm at about 4 a.m., made landfall, and then caused some damage here in the southern states. This is what's left behind in Bruton, Alabama. Drone footage shows the splintered remains of homes and schools after tropical storm Claudette triggered a suspected tornado. Trucks jumbled in the debris, along with trees toppled by high winds. Parts of the roof ripped off this high school auditorium. At least 50 structures were either damaged or demolished. In the nearby Florida panhandle, the storm pummeled beaches with wind and relentless rain. Rain also blanketed Biloxi. 50 mile per hour wind gusts were reported in parts of the Mississippi Gulf Coast. The storm hit on what was supposed to be a busy Father's Day weekend. Down in the bayou in Crown Point, Louisiana, Darren Coulon had to cancel his alligator swamp tours. Of course, with weather like this, you know you can't run. But weekends, holidays, that's when tourists are coming down here and trying to see what attractions you have. Claudette dropped more than 10 inches of rain in Slidell, Louisiana. Police made multiple rescues after as many as 50 vehicles were swamped in the floods. Temps are expected to get into the 80s today, so what doesn't drain off will eventually dry off as this storm moves east. Adriana? All right, Omar Villafranca, thank you.